Welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at York's Organic Gun Wax. York's Wax is located in Texas and is a producer of a line of chemical-free, all-organic specialty wax products domestically manufactured in the United States. They pride themselves on being the producer of their products as opposed to simply being a reseller, and they produce small batches of products as orders come in. Their product line includes paste car and gun wax as well as several varieties of spray cleaner and finishes. And in this video, we're going to specifically look at their paste gun wax. This product is a paste wax created from tier 1 canuba wax, beeswax, soy wax, and premium natural oils all sourced from American businesses right down to the labels and containers. It's been specially formulated for guns and is all organic, containing no petroleum distillates, so it's safe for all firearm components and can be used on polymer, wood, and Cerakote finishes. It's also suitable for metal including blued or stainless steel. It is formulated to help prevent rusting and to provide protection from water and humidity, all while providing a nice shiny luster. Even though a lot of people might not have ever heard of using wax or wax products to protect their firearms, it's something that has actually been done for a very long time. Museums have found that for long-term preservation, wax products tend to last longer and do not attract dust and grit as easily as oil-based products. Wax products can be polished to a shine, providing an attractive finish, and they tend to protect against water better than oils, as oil-based products are displaced by water, allowing them to essentially float away, leaving the surface unprotected. Think about this. Do you spray your car with oil after you wash it? Well, of course not. You wax it to protect it from the elements and make it shine. The same thing applies to gun waxes. I have an old H&R Model 760 that, quite frankly, has seen better days, so I thought I would try out the York's wax on it. To be honest, even though it's in pretty rough shape, the stock is still pretty shiny, but the metal and all the fittings are pretty sad. Let's see how it turned out. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and uh, take this firearm apart and go ahead and uh, clean the stock and everything and, and wax the uh, outer surface using the uh, York's uh, buttercream gun wax. So uh, first we'll go ahead and uh, uh, remove the action. As we can see, there's quite a bit of a, it looks like the plastic actually is probably molding a little bit right there. Uh, overall, the, 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 the firearm itself is a, a little rough, so we're going to go ahead and clean it up a bit uh, using the, uh, the wax uh, as, uh, to both clean it and to, to protect it. So we'll go ahead and take it apart first. Uh, first step, uh, this is the main action screw right there, so we'll go ahead and take that out. And it is a heavy consistency paste. And then put a little bit of a protection finish on it so that it won't continue to, to get too much worse until we can properly repair it. So let's go ahead and set that aside. Now on the stock itself, I'm going to go ahead and remove the sling swivels. 
Okay, then that leaves just the stock itself. So I'll go ahead and get some polish here, some of the wax. And you want to apply this stuff pretty liberally. including down into the inletting. Polishing cloth. Set that aside. Now, on the butt cap itself, we'll go ahead and clean it up as well. Overall, I think the York's Wax did a great job cleaning and the polished finishes look very nice. I'm not sure how well it comes over in the video, but in person it's noticeably shinier. Next I wanted to test how well it performed protecting metal parts. 
And for the purpose of our test, uh, we're going to be comparing the York's gun wax to a tried and true Remington Rem Oil. And uh, to conduct the test, we're going to get a piece of steel uh, that has been uh, stripped down and blued uh, to, to get a nice, uh, pretty much even finish. And uh, the idea here, I've kind of sectioned it into three sections. Uh, this section we will use the Rem Oil. In this section, we'll use the York's Wax. The middle section will be left untreated with anything to act as sort of a control. And the idea behind all of this uh, is to kind of compare to see as far as uh, which one would have the most durability and, and longevity. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this side with the REM oil and the center section will be left untreated. The left section will be treated with the York's wax. Uh, the center little yellow section there, that's uh, just yellow electrical tape uh, to section it off into sections. On the right and left side here, uh, I've got just some silver duct tape. Uh, and that's mostly just so it gives me something to pick it up with. So once it's all done, I won't be touching the center section. Now, to make sure that everything is pretty much uh, ready to go and to, to you know keep everything under like a some type of a control, uh, the first thing I'll be doing is wiping the entire thing off uh, with alcohol and to strip off any finish or anything that might be on there, any other oils or anything. And uh, so we'll do that first. Uh, now I will be wearing uh, some rubber gloves with this so that none of my uh, natural oils uh, will get on there uh, to pollute the test or uh, cause it, uh, you know, to skew either way. So we'll go, first step, we'll go ahead and put on my uh, rubber gloves. Uh, I've got my isopropyl alcohol here. So the first step is I'm going to wipe my gloves down. Make sure there's no gloves. Get a fresh piece of paper towel here. And now I'll start with putting on the uh, the buttercream wax. I'll go ahead and put that on first. Um, then I will go ahead and uh, once I put that on, uh, then I will you know clean off my uh, gloves again with the alcohol just to make sure I remove uh, as much wax as possible. Uh, then I'll treat the other side with the rem oil. Um, and uh, so then we'll go from there and then once both sides are finished I won't be touching the metal at all I'll be picking it up by the two ends so we'll go ahead and get stuff ready here first I'll go ahead and open. Put the lid on that. Okay, now the ram oil. Saturate that down pretty good. Okay, there's a pretty good coating of oil on that. And again, go ahead and wipe my hand. Nope. And then I'm going to give the center section just a quick wipe down of alcohol just to make sure that everything is removed off of it. Okay. 
So, we have the right side with the rem oil, the left side with the York's wax, and uh, we'll go ahead and take it outside now and uh, mount it onto uh, the test rack, and uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, start our test. After the first day outside, the control section was already starting to develop just a hint of rusting. By day three, it was showing indications of rust all over the control section, with the waxed and oiled section still okay. But after a week, rust was beginning to form on all the sections. The York's wax appeared to be doing a little worse than the rem oil section, but on close inspection it appears that there were areas where rust was starting, but it was localized in several spots, as opposed to being evenly distributed. I decided to go for a long-term look, so I left it for six months outside over the winter. After six months, there was rust everywhere, but the York section retained several areas that still had some of the bluing remaining. Clearly, it's done a better job than the Remington oil alone. Overall, I'm not surprised by the results. A wax coating is thicker and more resilient, and better able to weather the elements, whereas oils will quickly lift and wash away. Wax finishes will do a good job to help protect firearms that are going to be subjected to wet or humid conditions, such as hunting, or even concealed carry firearms. With that said, it's not magic, and like any applied protectant, it's not foolproof or permanent. Temperature extremes, humidity, rain, and snow will still get through eventually, so regular routine maintenance it should still be performed. For firearms that are going to be stored, I also think it would be a good choice. Its more durable protection means that you'll not have to reapply it as often as oils, which is why many museums use wax protectants for their collections. I found the York's organic wax to be easy to use, and I'm happy with the results I achieved. It's non-scented with no harsh chemical smells, making it much more pleasant than a lot of the other products on the market. I hope that this information is of value, and if you like the video, I would ask that you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see more like this. I value your comments and feedback, and as always, until next time, stay safe.